Now, what happens to our bodies when we start to train for endurance? There's, there's a bunch of different adaptations. We have adaptations to our cardiovascular system. We have adaptations to our respiratory system. We have adaptations to our metabolic system. We have adaptations to our muscular system. And there is mitochondrial biogenesis that happens. So briefly to go over what's happening when we consistently train endurance conditioning over extended periods of time. I mean, this is why fitness as a whole is so powerful. The combination of strength training and cardiovascular conditioning not only makes us look and feel better, but from a longevity standpoint, some of these things I'm about to talk about, you're going to say, well, like, of course I'm going to train and I'm going to train the rest of my life because this is how I live a longer, healthier, happier, more fulfilled life. There is quantity of years and quality of years. So adaptations that happen to our cardiovascular system, cardiac output increases. This is the amount of blood that is pumped out of the heart per minute. And what we find is that elite endurance athletes can pump significant amounts of blood out of the heart per minute compared to untrained individuals. What also happens to our muscle tissue of the heart is that it becomes larger and stronger. These are one of the adaptations of, of endurance training. And that a stronger heart rate, or sorry, a stronger heart has a larger stroke volume. So because we have a larger, a larger stronger heart, it can pump more blood out of the heart with each stroke. This contributes to lower heart rate, resting, and during training. One of the things that I always experience in a, a marathon build, in a marathon prep, is that when I reach peak conditioning, my resting heart rate is the lowest it's going to be throughout that entire prep. When I am my most trained, when I am my most fit, the lowest I've ever seen my resting heart rate was 37 beats per minute. Right now, it sits at about 40 beats per minute. That's resting. And that is because of all of my cardiovascular conditioning training, my heart is large, my heart is strong, and it has a large stroke volume, which, which contributes to that lower heart rate, resting and during training. Adaptations that happen to our respiratory system, our lung capacity increases, we have stronger respiratory muscles, and we become more efficient with oxygen transport within the body. Now, adaptations that happen metabolically to our metabolic system, trained individuals can store muscle glycogen and replenish muscle glycogen faster. We can also break down muscle glycogen into glucose more efficiently, more effectively. There are a bunch of adaptations that happen to the muscular system, uh, the development and improvement of muscle fibers, specifically type one. These are your slow twitch muscle fibers. So you have slow twitch, which are type one, and fast twitch, which, which are uh, type two. Slow twitch or type one is what's going to be trained, improved, and you're going to experience the adaptations with something that is slower more repetitive, more consistent, like aerobic running, easy running, easy cycling, walking, swimming. When there is something that is more intense, that has these greater bursts of energy, like a bench press, for example, or a sprint, those are your fast twitch muscle fibers being type two. So we experience a lot of development and improvement with endurance training in type one muscle fibers. And then one of the greatest adaptations that we experience 
from endurance training is mitochondrial biogenesis. Now, as many of us know, the mitochondria are the powerhouse of the cell and endurance training specifically can increase the volume of mitochondria, which has the potential to generate more ATP, more potential energy for our bodies. And endurance training also improves the quality of the mitochondria. So from, like I said, a cardiovascular, respiratory, metabolic, muscular, even cellular level, endurance training is creating these absolutely amazing, critical, and essential adaptations that aren't just applicable to fitness, but life overall, quality and quantity.